Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. I am dedicating an entire video to one product. You all know I don't do this often. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I think I am just becoming more cynical every day. I look at new releases in the Sephora section. I look at Trend Moods page and I just feel like Wow, a bunch of new beige colors on the market. There's just so many new releases and I feel like a lot of them are just recycled concepts or colors that there's so few things that really make me think, yes, this is what I wanna take time making a video about. But today I'm actually doing that with, of all products in the entire world, a lip primer. How uninteresting does that possibly sound? This is Lime Crime's Ghost Veil, and it retails for $16. If you guys bought in that sale, we all got this as a free bonus, which really is a smart way to get your product out there if you ask me. Uh, but it, it was something that, you know, just kind of came in my order. I didn't really think that much of it. I tried it on under a liquid lipstick, because here's the thing, this, this is a liquid primer. I kind of just figured, well, it's probably meant to go under liquid lipsticks. And it seemed a little different from the very first time that I applied it, but I didn't really think that much of it initially. So on Monday, I was just kind of thinking about this and I was like, I wonder why Lime Crime made a primer. Like, what do we really need in priming our lips for liquid lipstick if it's not, you know, a gloss, which is what I thought it would be. So after reading the description, I kind of had a better idea, but I still didn't quite get it. They, they said on the website that it is for use under cream or satin or matte lipsticks. And I was like, well, wait a minute, does this mean regular lipsticks? So yes, and when you go ahead and apply this and then follow with the bullet lipstick, it's almost as though this changes the texture of your bullet lipstick so that it actually wears like a liquid lipstick. Now we're curious minds on this channel, so I immediately started looking over the ingredients to try to figure out what they did, and it made a lot more sense in my head. Basically, this is a very silicone-rich formula, but it also contains clays. When you put clays into a product, it kind of dries out the finish, but when you put silicones in, it makes it smooth. So the application of this really feels a lot like applying a blurring primer. So in this video, I will demo how to use this and we'll test it out with three different finishes. I'm also gonna start off by telling you, I've been wearing this for a couple of days, of course, with matte lipsticks. The one that I am currently wearing is Maybelline's 565 Almond Rose Matte Lipstick. You see, you, you, you see what we're about to get into in this video? Yesterday I wore Max Russian Red, which of course is also a matte lipstick. I wore this into the pool, I wore this to eat pizza, and really the only thing that started to compromise it was the pizza, which makes sense if this is changing the texture into a liquid lipstick because liquid lipsticks will not budge when you swim, but they will budge in contact with oil. So I've had incredible results with matte lipsticks, but I kind of feel like those are a little easy. Let's try this with some more difficult lipsticks. So let's start this experiment with the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in the shade Grenadine. I probably applied it really messily because I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm sorry, I don't have a ton of patience. This is a really, really gorgeous formula. It's definitely very balm-like in texture. And even though it's very comfortable on the lips, it does transfer. So let's do a let's do a control. I do not have the lip primer on yet. So control test here. All right, so here we go with the lip primer. By the way, the primer has a light scent to it. It's kind of it's kind of floral. It doesn't smell like most lime crime items. So when you first apply it, it does feel like you've applied a lip gloss, but let it sit for a couple of minutes. Maybe I'll time it. All right, so, so what happened is 45 seconds in, it started to feel a little tacky, and now we are at a minute and a half, and it's almost got that same tendency to stick that uh, L'Oreal Infallible liquid lipsticks or Maybelline liquid lipsticks have but not in an uncomfortable way. I think it's locking in moisture at this point. So now we're at four minutes. I've applied a lip liner. This one is Lipstick Queen's 
rust because Lime Crime does say to use a liner with these and I agree. Let's apply this lipstick. So it already has a completely different feel from when I had it on before. It definitely feels more like a liquid lipstick. Let's see if it's tacky. Not really. One thing I love tremendously about using this primer is I took it definitely more on the inside of my lip and it's not transferring to my teeth. Anyone else absolutely tired of walking around with lipstick on their teeth? Is that just me? I don't think it's just me. So let's do a kiss test. I'm going to, let's see, it's been seven minutes. I'm gonna kiss this hand. Look at that difference. Look at that difference. We just hit 10 minutes, and one thing I do wanna comment on is that the wear of these gets better over time. I noticed this from my extended wear test yesterday. But I think it's been enough time. Let's do a side-by-side -side on this hand. Barely any transfer, barely any. I'm calling this one an absolute success. I love too that it kind of smooths my lips out even more. Although the texture of the crushed lip color is gorgeous, it really doesn't have a lot of lip lines. I still feel like I see even less with using this primer. Oh my God, I love this primer so much. Let's try something a little different. This is the Givenchy Le Rouge liquid. This one was sent to me and it is a really nice lipstick. It is a kind of liquid lipstick. It's a bit of a hybrid. You twist this up and it pumps out onto this surface and then you apply it that way. Great formula. It does have hyaluronic acid, so it's actually really comfortable on the lips. I did already apply some liner with this. This is the Balm's Pickup Liner in boyfriend material. And this is our control group, so let's do the kiss test. This one is definitely a more transfer resistant formula overall. All right, let's do this initial kiss test. And we have the same amount of transfer. I'm gonna have to let this one sit, I see. So I managed to very successfully do absolutely nothing for 15 minutes except think about doing dishes. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this another test. Okay, so we are definitely still getting some transfer with this product, the Givenchy 309 La Rouge liquid. Now I'm not tremendously surprised because last night I was trying some liquid lipsticks and glosses and it really doesn't work with these. So surprisingly the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It didn't work with that. It also did not work with the Hi-Fi Shine Urban Decay glosses. In fact, it was kind of terrible with the gloss because when I went to do the kiss test, it was like all of the gloss transferred right off. I wanna test one final category and that is metallic. So I've got 970 Molten Bronze Metallic Lipstick from Maybelline. I've already got this applied without the base, without the primer, so let's do the kiss test. Woo! Lip lines and everything. My lips are already starting to get sore from all these swatches. Uh, can we get an F in the comments? One like, one prayer for my lips. So the primer is applied. We're going in with this metallic lipstick. Okay, so at this point I have the lipstick applied over the primer and I have a couple of things to say before I do the kiss test. One is that I do see less of the lines that you get and you get a lot of lines with the metallic lipstick. So that's a plus, but I can also really feel the lipstick sliding around on top of the primer, which is very surprising. That hasn't happened with any of the other combinations at all. So let's do the kiss test. I don't think it's gonna go that well, to be honest. It seems like a little less transferred, but we definitely still got a lot of transfer. Uh-oh, and it got on my tooth too. Mmm, no. This one seems to not be working. I'll go ahead and let this sit for a while, but I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and do another test. Oh, wow. I actually didn't expect that. It came off in like a little clumpiness though. 
But yeah, it's a lot more transfer resistant. I started this video with Maybelline and I ended it with Maybelline, but let's go ahead and do some recapping here. So the product combined with a velveteen or any of these matte liquid lipsticks, it doesn't really seem to make a big difference. I don't actually think you'll even remember that you put it on because that's what I did Friday or Saturday, whichever day it was, and I, I forgot about it. However, with any of these bullet lipsticks, it seems to make an incredible difference. And again, I think it's because you are basically applying this kind of blurring primer that has clay in it. It just makes sense that it's kind of gripping these creamy texture of lipsticks. However, the effect is a lot more subtle when you have any kind of an actual liquid creamy formula, whether that's a creamy, creamy lipstick or a liquid but still creamy lipstick, and I think it does not work at all with glosses. But overall, I really do think this is an incredible product, and the fact that it's $16 blows my mind. I think that if you are a person who wants your lipstick to transfer a heck of a lot less, like me, for example, if you don't wear bullet lipsticks that often because of the issue of transfer, I think this is very worth trying. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have tried this. I know at least some of y'all deal shoppers got this in the sale, right? Oh, and one more thing, if you want me to test this with any other lipsticks, let me know. I will put pictures up for you on Instagram if you wanna see how things worked out with it. I don't have every lipstick in the world, but I have I have a, a couple, a couple. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, apparently, because otherwise you ain't ever gonna see my videos, I have learned. See you next time.